saya kira na turang ni bunuh atau turang yang lebih bunuh atau turang yang pasti mik. Kan bagai saya beliau, ibu ita bi, nak kawin kuat, dan abu ni macam tu, mobiti, na ulun ikan abu ni taksi, na presiden di. Kurang na tima dua. Kita mesti nak lebih bersiap. Kita mesti kerja sama lebih ni bersilawa. Kita nabi tama dah dah tahu macam tu. Kita nak sabu lebu nabi boleh turun atas. Ia akan jadi. Saya di Jango, Jango Bo, Henry Puna, Deputy Saya di Jango, Dr. Filiman, Manoni, Management and Staff of the Pacific Island Forum Secretariat, Members of the Diplomatic Corps. Fiji government officials, officials of the Pacific Island Forum member nations, members of the uh, media corps, leaders and members of our communities, Pacific communities here in Suba. Ladies and gentlemen, I acknowledge the uh, ceremony of welcome. They are always very humbling. I do not think that it is unique to the Pacific Island and its communities that when we accord these ceremonies of welcome in their highest traditional form we bring home to our visitors that we are one. We are a community. We are a village. We are a family. Whether we can follow the language or the dialect or not, our spirit converse and communicate. I can only reciprocate the honor by serving the Pacific Island Forum in the remaining term and also continue as a member after I as Prime Minister hand over to my successor. So I sit here and uh, recall the time when I was one of the youngest leaders in the forum. When uh, the Prime Minister of Samoa called me after
after I was sworn in as Prime Minister, I asked her, do you remember when we were the youngest in the forum? Nothing to boast about, I'm probably the oldest leader coming back into lead to leadership in the Pacific. Thank you for the sentiments expressed and the congratulatory remarks conveyed to me from your heads of government and from you here this evening. I recall the early stages of the forum, the commission, all the regional bodies our four leaders had and formed and worked towards forging them to be great success stories, not only of our region, but in the world. It was natural for them and it should continue to be natural for us. Whether we call it the Wubaila with our bigger neighbors, or we call it one talk in the Melanesian communities, whether we call it Kainga or Kaiwata or whatever. only reigniting that flame of recognition that we are one. I remember standing in awe as a young officer, the various guards of honor we had to mount for the distinguished leaders of the Pacific when they came to Fiji to visit or to confirm. I was proud, I was proud to be honoring them as a member of my country's military forces. Honored also to be here and to see my brother sitting up here I'm sure he will ask me whether I received my invitation to go and meet with the President of the United States at the prayer breakfast next month. I'm also asking him if he gets his invitation, please take me along. The Pacific Island Forum was built on the firm and strong relationships that the founding fathers had with each other in those early days. The Pacific was part of the world movement towards independent nationhood. After the Second World War era, our colonial masters realized that we were strong enough to look after ourselves. The British started withdrawing from east of Suez and started concentrating on the new independent nations and extending their hands of friendship to guide us the other colonial powers did the same. Now we are proud members of the international community, standing on our own, yet relying on one another. And together, hand in hand, we are a community that has been responsible 
for its own region and responsible for the rest of the world. We are leaders. We are also followers. We give and we also receive. We thrive best when we unite. We fight best when we unite. And we defend best when we unite. We share our values. And we value one another. The challenges we, we face individually may look so insurmountable, but when we come together, Eleanor confer we realize we're not the only ones having those problems. And even just the understanding that we're not standing alone with our problems heals the burden, eases the burden. And that is the unique nature of the forum. I'm sure other regional bodies feel the same. I'm proud to be here with you, my brothers and sisters. The men we have they have different colored wool. The more the colors, the better the mat, whether it's Dovo or Mamati, the design of our Masi, Ngatu, Kappa, bring home to us the strength of unity. It may be difficult to imagine that our differences contribute to our strength. We tend to limit ourselves to our differences without realizing that contributing our differences to the unit makes that unit very strong. And I'm really looking forward to contributing to developing the forum. We pay our respects to the leaders of the pact and we owe it to them to forge this unity and work forward from here with stronger resolve to strengthen the region and our commitment to the various things that are on the program and we together tackle the common threat to our very survival here in the Pacific. I promise that the government I lead, while I'm chair, or even after I chair, will be committed to our collective goals, our collective mission, and our one vision for a great united Pacific region. I call on all of you. And I call on all of you. And 
where I call on government leaders in the Pacific to come together and forge forward, move forward in unity. I created a, a short poem and it goes like this. There are steel ships and wooden ships. There are great ships and small ships. There are trading ships that, that trade the oceans and small ships that trade along the coasts. But the greatest of them all are friendships. And may they last forever. Now I live.